We don't have to tell you the price of groceries has been climbing. But some urban gardens around Indianapolis are helping Hoosiers have more access to more affordable options. Fox 59's Lindsay Stone shows us how they grow produce and grow the community at the same time. Urban gardens just like this one are all across Indianapolis. They're a kind of hidden gem, but they're serving a big purpose. 12-year-old Zion Moore is making his daily rounds to the Lawrence Community Garden. We grow all, almost all the peppers, tomatoes, your greens. It's one of six urban gardens in Indianapolis growing food and the community. Most of the grocery stores because they're, they're not walking distance. A challenge facing many Indianapolis neighborhoods. Other grocery stores in our area started to close, not just that one. So we literally became a food desert almost overnight. Joyce Randolph and her family started Elephant Gardens to provide organic and affordable produce to her near Northeast neighborhood near Washington Park. The gardens are helping Hoosiers save money on produce thanks to the city's seed to store program. It allows produce to be sold to local grocers at affordable prices. Food is everything. Um, it's economic development. It's uh, nutrition security, it's workforce development, it's like life skills, it's leadership. Sarah Nickham with the Office of Public Health and Safety says the urban gardens not only help Hoosiers save a few dollars, but create a more sustainable future. Having that food resources of food growing in your community is really vitally important, especially if there's going to be an emergency like COVID. Hoosiers can shop at any of the urban gardens and all are invited to get involved. City officials tell me we could see even more urban gardens popping up all across Indianapolis. And for more information on these urban gardens or a list of their locations, just head to fox59.com. Reporting in Indianapolis, Lindsay Stone, Fox 59 News.